My name is Ian Lamont. I'm the author of Dropbox in 30 Minutes, dropboxin30minutes.com. And I have a secret to tell you about Dropbox. Not many people know about it. And the secret is, when you delete something from Dropbox, as I'm going to do right now, it doesn't actually get permanently deleted. Uh, and let me give you an example. So here's my Dropbox folder. On a Mac or PC, it will be the same. Uh, and basically, I'm going to look at one of these subfolders where I have a lot of stuff and I want to get rid of some stuff because there's just too much, too many files that I have to keep track of and I want to free up some space. So I look at this file here. It's an old photo. Uh, I don't like it. I just decided I'm going to get rid of it. So what I do is I uh, right click it and move it to the trash. And it's not there anymore. And you may assume that it's actually gone forever, uh, even, if, even if you uh, empty the hard drive uh, trash on it. But it's not. Uh, Dropbox actually keeps copies of old files, and there's a reason for this, because you can recover it if you want to. But if you want to really get rid of it, permanently delete it, here's how you do it. So go to the Dropbox icon, launch Dropbox website, or what you can do is just go to dropbox.com and log on. And what's going to happen is it's going to be, you're going to be brought to your online Dropbox repository. And basically it matches exactly what your folder looks like, except you can also see the files that you've deleted. And as I've explained in another video, this is very convenient if you want to recover something. Uh, but also you may want to just get rid of something for good because you just don't want that file for whatever reason. Um, so here's my Dropbox folders online. I'm going to click in blogging. And so if you look at the list, it looks like it's not there. So, okay, there's no problem there. But then if you go to this trash can icon, it says show deleted files. Click on that. You're going to see the files that you thought you deleted. Now, if I clicked on it right now, I could actually recover it. It's going to show me all the versions of this file, and it gives me an option to restore it. But I don't want to do that. What I do want to do is I want to get rid of it permanently. And here's how. You right-click on the grayed-out file, the grayed-out deleted file. And it's, there, you're given three options, restore, permanently delete, or see pre previous versions. I want to permanently delete this thing. It says, are you sure? Yes. Press the blue button. I permanently deleted that item. It's gone for good. Uh, I don't have to worry about it anymore. And once the sync takes place across your Dropbox folders and computers and stuff, it's gone for good. So that's a lesson on uh, deleting something permanently. If you want more great tips how to use Dropbox more effectively, Buy my ebook, Dropbox in 30 Minutes. You can get it on Amazon or other big uh, online bookstores, or just go to dropboxin30minutes.com. Thanks very much.